اهلا بكم مشاهدينا في فقره الفاشن من برنامج سيدتي اليوم معايا مدونه من اوائل البلوجرز في المنطقه وكمان متعدده المواهب تالا سمان Hi Tala, I'm really glad you're with us here today on the show. Of course, you're a very busy blogger and I would love to know more about your uh, blogging and about My Fash Diary. Um, so My Fash Diary started nine years ago. Mm -hmm. It was the first blog to come out of the UAE and it started off as purely just a fashion blog. Blogs didn't exist so I didn't really know what I was doing to be mm -hmm. honest. And I think eventually as the blog grew, I grew up as a person as well. Um, and that just expanded in terms of topics, it expanded just as a person would grow. And why did you decide to do a blog where there was no other blogs here in the region? I mean, I was reading a few blogs in the US and I mm -hmm. think I was following two in the UK. Uh, my mom was the face of Nina Ritchie in the region. I was a student at the Lon London College of Fashion. And I just felt that I wanted to share content with people that actually were interested in fashion rather than, you know, sharing things that on Facebook that people didn't care about. How did it evolve? Like the topics evolved or the content? So initially, I think for the first three years, it was purely just fashion. That's the only thing that I blogged about. Um, and I think as a person, I matured and um, I was interested in beauty became something that I was just more interested in and more curious about. And I think that's the thing with the site. Everything that I do write about has just been things that I've been personally curious about and then my discovery learning things. Yeah, and now you do interviews with the celebrities, other bloggers. So how do you do it? How do you manage all these topics? Um, in terms of interviews, luckily Dubai is such a, it's like a melting pot. So there's so many people that come True. down and um, it's so nice to get to, you know, meet people that other people look up to. Um, and just ask them things about, you know, whether it's their beauty routine or mm -hmm. because I DJ, what's on their music playlist and how they kind of get dressed in the morning. Who's your biggest inspiration? I think I just generally get inspired by strong women and women that go after what they want and build careers, whether, you know, whatever industry they're in. Um, I admire women like that. How do you describe your style? I think I describe it as eclectic. I don't really have a certain style. I kind of wear, you know, what I feel looks good on me. And I think that's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of women do. Because there are so many trends and there's so much out there, it doesn't mean that we should be wearing everything that's out there. So I, I kind of have fun with it. and. You know, I dress up every day depending on how I feel and how the weather is. How did you start DJing? So I started DJing three years ago. Um, it was honestly just something that I was interested in for a couple of years before. Just thought, you know what, I want to learn a new skill. Uh, ended up taking classes with a producer. I think I was doing eight to ten hours a week. And it was just for fun, didn't think anything of it. Ended up buying a set mixed at home. And then I kind of felt like there was that you know, I was going to events anyways that DJs did play at. And now it's nice because I get to play music at events that I usually would attend or used to attend. Can you tell us about the collaborations with the international brands? Um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've collaborated with a lot of brands that I, I guess I admire or admired growing up. And I think as bloggers generally, we, you know, what's nice is when a blogger collaborates with a brand that they genuinely love, because it just, it's, it's a lot more natural. It's a lot True. easier for the blogger to kind of you know, get excited about it and, and share that with their followers or their, their readers. Um, I collaborated with Shapar a few months ago and I got to work with a lot of, uh, a lot of other bloggers that I admire. Can you give us some beauty tips? 
To be honest, the last few years, one of the best things that I did is focus more on skincare. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, we spend so much money on really good makeup, but I just think if the skin isn't, isn't if you don't have a good base, anything you put on that's isn't gonna true. look good. Um, so something that I've, I've really invested in, whether it's time-wise and, and money, is, is skin care and having a really good regimen when it comes to taking care of, of my skin. So what's your regimen? So something that's really big for me is sunscreen as well. Mm -hmm. um, I never leave the house without it, and that's from learning how bad pigmentation is. And as the years go by, that just darkens. Um, yeah, but I think one of the biggest things is never sleeping on, sleeping with makeup on. Um, and that sound, sounds really simple, but just... It's really hard to do. Yeah. What's next for Tala Samman? Um, focusing more on my DJing. So that's something that I've been doing for three years, but I just... Um, blogging was always a big part of my life, and that's what, where all my time went to. So hopefully in 2018, focus more on that. Thank you so much, Tala, for Thank your time. You. I loved having you on the show. Thank you. Wow, the studio,